what's going on guys I hope everyone's having a lovely day or night depending on what time you're watching this video but anyways so I'm getting ready to take the GTI out to Mexico I'm pretty sure some of you guys know where that is and if you don't you're probably missing on some fun so before I head out I wanted to do a couple things or try something new on the GTI I'm trying to see if I can somehow make the engine produce just a bit more power I don't know if this is going to work at all but it's probably worth a try I'm not going to be adding any parts or nothing I'm just going to simply reflash my ECU to a different tune and possibly be running some E85 I'm not sure yet I don't have the E85 kit installed in the car so I don't want to mess something up I probably will do it just to see if I feel any difference in power but we'll see how that goes um, I'll show you guys what I'll be doing here so I have my laptop hooked up to the car right now using my power tap from Eurodyne which is the tune that I'm running which is right there and I'm simply just going to run the computer let it do its work and flash my engine ECU so what it does is just uh, gathers all the information from your computer and it gives you the available tunes or files for your car so there it is it's pretty quick so once that's done this small screen is going to pop up here and it's going to give you all the available tunes for your car so here we have a tune for the IS38 if you're running the Golf R Turbo on 91 octane and also adjustable. We have a stage 1.5 on different octane levels, so 91, 93, and adjustable. And then we have our stage 2 down here. You have an option for 100 octane, 91, and 93. It all depends on what kind of fuel you have access to in Colorado the highest one the highest one we have sorry it's 91 octane so that's the one I run on my car I might be switching to 93 right here if I put E85 on it I don't know if it's gonna make any difference or not but I might try it I don't know yet I'm still debating but for now we're gonna just do the stage 2 adjustable that's the one that I'm gonna be trying today so simply just select the tune that you want and then up here just click download select a file and flash ECU so that's all it is uh, once you hit there just let the computer do its work it's probably going to take about 30 minutes or so so make sure you have your computer hooked up or it's charged all the way you don't want this dying halfway through the process and then once that's done, you I will show you guys how to adjust your turbo PSI and change in between different um, octane ratings. So let's get this started and then we'll go from there. Alright guys, so once your computer is done, it's going to bring you back to the home page and it's going to look something like this. Um, what you want to do now is go to the MQB adjustable files, which is right on the corner here. Click on it and open boost and octane and here it is so here is where you get to adjust your boost limit ignition timing and your octane level depending on what you're running on the car so it gives you options from 87 all the way to 100 so it all depends on what you put in your car so here you're gonna go down here and press read settings and it's going to give you the settings your car is set up right now so it looks like after flashing the ECU with the adjustable tune it automatically sets your boost limit at 24 pounds and 91 octane so what we're going to be doing here is moving our boost limit to 28 pounds I don't know if I want to do the octane unless I'm going to put some E85 on it but 
I will probably do 93 octane and I'll see if I can go get some 85 and try to accomplish an E30 blend at least just for today so there it is um, that's all there is to it once you have your settings set like you want them you just simply go down here and click write settings and it will just save those settings to your computer on the car and you're all set so that's what we're going to be trying tonight hopefully I don't come home to a blown engine or something this is the first time I try this so I really hope everything goes well and we just go out there and have some fun so I'll be heading probably over to the E85 pump I don't know yet but if I do like I said I'm just gonna be probably pumping about two and a half gallons of E85 and then mixing the rest with 91 and then from there we'll we'll head out to Mexico so we'll see how tonight turns out all right guys it looks like we hit the jackpot we made it to the E85 pump here at Conoco so let's pull in and let's get pumping this is the only pump in the whole station that offers E85 fuel so there it is Let's get two and a half gallons in the car and then we'll pump the rest with regular 91 octane. Alright guys, so we're here now. E85 ethanol. We're going to be pumping, like I said, two and a half gallons. Trying to accomplish an E30 blend. I'm really praying I don't break shit up. This is my first time doing this. So... I don't know what's gonna happen. E85 here is $2.199. I might be switching to full E85. It's way cheaper than regular gas. Man, it's loud out here. Right, guys it looks like I overdid it just a little 2.6 gallons but that should be fine it should give me an E30 to an E35 blend at least I hope so we got the E85 in the car now let's go fill up with just regular 91 all right guys so I've been driving for about 20 miles now and guess what the fucking check engine light came on I don't know what it is, so I'm gonna have to go back home and hook up my scanner to it. Make sure it's not something to do with the fuel. It's probably an O2 sensor, but I don't know yet if it's something that, besides that, I'm probably not gonna be running the car at all because I definitely don't wanna break it. It's trying to tell me something with the light. So I'm just gonna listen to my car and take care of it first before I even attend to abuse her this night so i'm heading home right now i'll let you guys know what that check engine light is all right guys so i got my little scanner hooked up to the car right now and it's giving me the code p013e twice um it doesn't tell me what it's for but all I got to do is just uh, go online and look at it so according to everyone online that uh, p013e it's the oxygen sensor delayed response rich to lean bank one sensor two so it's just a no sensor I'm pretty sure it's caused because of the e85 field that I pumped earlier today uh, I did get this light when I first installed the downpipe on the car so I know it's just an oxygen sensor so I'm not concerned about it it looks like we're gonna stick to our plans for tonight and still go out and have some fun so um, I'm still very sketchy about going out with E85 I haven't done this before so like I mentioned before I really hope nothing goes wrong and if it does you guys find out but we'll see how tonight goes 